First off, congrats on the purchase of your H5A. We're here today to make an educational video for you um, about the buttons on the H5A and its functionalities, right? So when you first receive the H5A and you put your batteries in, you're, you're ready to go. First thing you wanna do is turn on through the green button. Now you see the light blinked a little bit um, because we're on a flat surface, it didn't have to think so much. It was actually auto leveling for you. So after that process is completed, your laser will start spinning. So if it takes a little bit, nothing to worry. It's just thinking, especially when, you know, it's vibrating. So if it vibrates, you see that your laser will stop spinning. It will think again to auto level and it will start again. Now, if you do need a little bit more of a slope, um, it's important also to know before we get there about the lights. The lights right here, you have about six lights on this laser. They communicate to you what the laser is trying to do. And you see that right now with the slope. So press the button on the direction you would like the slope to go. You see it will blink. And it's at, right now it's moving. You can even hear it a little bit. Once you're at the desirable slope, you press it again at that same direction. It stopped. So right now you're set at that slope. If you need to do it again, if you need more slope, it's one slope per setup. So you do need to turn it off and re-slope again to the desirable grade that you want to be at. Now, we also have two more buttons, which is the manual button and the height alert. The manual is going to be used once you are at a job site that's very shaky, has a lot of vibrations, the ground is not very uh, stable. You want to turn it on because your laser will not be auto leveling itself every five seconds. You will understand that it's actually vibrating. It doesn't need to keep trying that process again. Um, and the height alert, you'll be using one when, when you don't want the, the actual elevation to be affected on the laser. So if the laser is slowly sinking into the ground, um, a good example is per se you are a very cold day and you are on mud and that mud is, is actually hard in the morning because it's still cold. By the afternoon you'll be softened out, tripod will be digged in. You don't want that elevation, that height to be affected. That's when you would turn this off. Um, so just to gather everything up, H5A will have the five buttons, you have the power, you have the slope, you have the manual and the height alert. Height alert, you don't really want to take it off unless you really have to. Um, and besides all of that, you also have the lights that will communicate to you what's going on. Either you're out of level, either uh, something got bumped into the laser and now it's blinking telling you, hey, level me up again. Um, great device to go with, very simple to use.